that it? That's it. Is that the welcoming committee? Committee. What more is to be said? How about thank you? Or well done. Thank you. Th if we all had to thank one another thank every time we did anything in this family, we'd never get anywhere. I've just been on a very challenging post-investiture tour of Wales. It would be better than anyone expected. Thank you. Thank you. You were sent to Wales to show respect and heal divisions, not inflict them on your own family. That's Not taper for this bollocks, Sam. It certainly doesn't inspire confidence. Like, we can't keep taping for these glorified extras throughout the thirties. Agreed. Oh, we have to try something else. Something to set us apart from the million other actors in the spotlight. You know, we have to find a way to... Break in. in drama school. Well, hang on. I need to go for a slash. You went right before we climbed the fence. Uh, it's all these electrolytes I'm drinking. It's for a roll. What roll? A roll I think I should be casting. It'll have to wait. What are you doing? It's still too early. All right, if you insist. Who are you? Miss Coleman, uh, my name is Sam, this is Fergus. Out, get we, out! We, we mean you no harm. What do you want, if it's money? No, we're not interested in money. Uh, hold on, uh, how much are we talking? No. no, we're here to talk to you, to tell you what's going on in the industry. Because either you don't know or you don't care. Of course I care. I care very deeply indeed. What a thing to say. But just hear us out! Don't you dare touch me! Look out! No touching, no touching. You'll get us cancelled. Just... Just hear us out, all right? And then we'll get out of your hair. We just thought it would be good for you to meet some Irish actors trying to break into British television. I meet normal people all the time. Well, not all of us could get on to normal people. It's not abnormal to ask a seasoned veteran for advice. And this is normal? No. no. Normal would be whoring ourselves out on social media. Yeah, and neither of us had the skin for that. And you said you didn't either. 
sorry, sorry, but I'm bursting. I, where do I find... Bathroom. That door. Showing people who I am. Huh. So what I'm saying is maybe you could run down to Spotlight and have a word with the powers that be. Run down? And ask them why they're charging actors through the nose for standard self-tapes. When all they need is decent lighting. High-end DSLR, sound, colour grade, maybe even green screen. And I could sort them out. No hassle. Is that what you do? Yeah, videography. Well, it pays the bills and makes me a better actor. So I tell myself anyways. I'm essentially a one-man crew. You should hire me. I suppose you're well past doing self-tapes in your position. We're sorry to have come unannounced like this, but look, Miss Coleman, we've tried everything else. Writing emails, speaking to our agents, fat lot of good any of that did. Mirage of meritocracy. So, we've come to you, the queen bee of acting. You're our last hope. Someone who can actually do something. What is it you'd like me to do? Say something. Put in a good word. Help the little guy catch a break in a world full of sharks. 90% of actors are unemployed. But does that bother you? Yes, it bothers me greatly. But there's nothing I personally can do about it. When you've been in my position as long as I have, you see how quickly and how often fortunes can change. Joblessness, recession, crises, all of these things have a way of correcting themselves. Countries bounce back. People do. Because they simply have to. That's what I thought. That I'd bounce back. And I didn't. First the work dried up. Then my confidence dried up. And then Covid happened. And then, you begin to wonder, <laughs> where's it gone? <laughs> Not just your confidence or your livelihood, but <sighs> the thing that makes you, you. Well, the state can help with all of this. The state poses with artists for a photo op and then gets on with denying us funding, letting us fight over scraps. Where's the sense of community? You know, the, the sense of obligation towards one another? I think you're exaggerating. People still show kindness to one another, and they still pay their taxes to the state. And they spend that money on a fucking dockside water park? Like, are you joking me? Who's white water raft when it's pissing rain all the time? Listen, I want to love the industry I'm in, but when people ask the world of you and they give you so little in return, I can't tell you how many unanswered emails I've sent. I can't tell you how many self-tapes I've done on less than a day's notice. And never a word back. And never a line of encouragement. And all Spotlight seems to do is empty our accounts once a year and offer self-help courses. I don't need self-help. I need a job. 
Because they've dealt with abusers. Big egos, charlatans, everything in between. And I embrace failure. I try not to attach myself to it, Miss Coleman. And our story, it's going to continue regardless what you tell us here today. But it's up to you. Whether you throw us a shovel or a gem. Have you come far? Dublin. Lovely. Is it lovely? It is. Yeah, it is. Is there anything else you'd like to say to me? You are great in hard force. Well, goodbye. Don't touch her. It's all right. I shall bear in mind what you've said. 